Okay, uh, the posted video to show the uh, status of the uh, Kino project. So uh, let me first uh, power it up. And the, uh, the the Pi startup takes uh, in the order of a minute. So um, uh, I thought you might as well see that the, 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 the whole run through. Um, uh, so there are no surprises when you get the final unit. Um, is while it's going through the startup, I've disabled the operation of all the uh, switches and buttons. So, for example, the play pause doesn't operate. Um, uh, this is partly because um, you obviously can't, can't pause something that hasn't yet started, but also um, uh, I, I wanted to uh, delay everything goes on here until the system's running so that in the event of there being a power off requirements it, it'll operate correctly so that was actually 47 seconds or thereabouts and we've now got the uh, the, the system starting and at, at this stage now we can do as before let's see if I can get this right so, so it's now paused and we've got the play pause uh, flashing so I can then play that again and all the other buttons uh, if I can press in the right place where are, where are, oh sorry because they're not operating because I've not activated them Let's just switch that on there. So now we've got the sequence on the top. That one does the sequence on the bottom. That one does the top flashing on and off. And that one does the bottom flashing on, on and off. And if you want, you can just turn them off by that way. And if you turn things back on again, um, uh, uh, it, it still still stay, stays off. Right, let me just um, put that back into play. Hang on, look, looks. Okay. I'll probably do now skip forward on when I edit the, the, the video to a, a screen that um, shows the sizing of the video. Because um, I, I reduced the video size so it would f f fit what I felt was correctly within the within the screen. So um, I'll cut it later. Right here we are. Maybe I won't. Uh, so if I just pause it there, um, so, so you, you, you can see here that that. Uh, fit, fits the screen pretty well perfectly so that's uh, that's quite good okay uh, we can now um, put that back into into play and I can just show you the the, the turn off sequence now because remember it has to power down the pie separately so if we switch that off stops the video the pie is shutting down and we have a sequence of of, of lights operating here and now the system is off uh, and I've also um, set it so that it'll turn itself off when the batteries are low, but only it'll only turn itself off partially uh, because one still has to uh, switch the off uh, physically on the button. Okay, right now let's let's have a closer look at, uh, at what's involved and what we've got here. So uh, if I just, yeah, no, let's just turn turn it over. No, that was just right. So. Um, in terms of of uh, bits now, we've got that's the the board that's doing all the all the the, the control and it has its own processor. There's the uh, the Pi Zero that's managing the video, and then underneath we've got the uh, display, which I've had to modify a bit to achieve the uh, the coding required. Um, let's move now on to the uh, the uh, casing and the various modifications which. Are needed. Um, f let's, go, let's do the back first. So um, the the screen fits centrally from a vertical perspective. It needs um, spaces, but the the spaces on the top can only come partly in because of these ribbon cables. Uh, and the, another screen I have has ribbon cables that are wider, so we have to limit it. Uh, as I'll put in a uh, email later as to how far those can go along. Okay, um, the, the Pi I envisage will double side tape onto the 
on, on, onto the back to hold that in the correct position, which is going to be about there. Um, uh, and sorry, back onto the screen, from a horizontal perspective, the screen is about one millimetre uh, away from the from the button. So you'll see that this this sort of borsewood gap I put in here is is a couple of millimetres wider than that one, and that that puts the screen itself into a central position. Okay, now there are various um, mods required uh, in addition to, to that onto onto the um, onto the case. So first. Um, I've only got one button here because uh, I need to modify the circuit board because it, that there needs to be moved, moved moved over a bit. But there'll be so so switches. I mean, there'll be switches all the way down here of, of the same type uh, as this. And this here is the web I mentioned earlier that has to be lowered so that that that, that those buttons can be in place. Oh, and before I forget the 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 battery, which will be uh, six uh, AAA. Uh, rechargeables will go into the space here just uh, and need to be rubbing up against the bottom okay um, right next mod <coughs> the circuit board <coughs> for the buttons here is uh, is uh, double sided and there are these pins here which go from <coughs> excuse me but there are these pins here that go from the top side to, to the bottom side and they impinge slightly on the surface here so it needs to be a, a slight groove put in there to correspond to, to where those pins are. Right, um, and while we're on the back um, we, we need to have a charger socket and this the thing here looks like a convenient place to, to, to put it. It needs to be made a little deeper and needs some milling to, to fit the socket and also when uh, on the the back cover It'll need a slight rebate uh, around half to one millimetre for where the batteries are and it'll need a rebate for where the, the switch is because the switch needs to be um, one millimetre from the, from the back panel so that the plug can go in correctly. Right, uh, let's turn it over now. Okay, um, so those are the two LED boards. I, I, I had to make uh, a slight increase in the size of the hole here to an, to enable the board to be inserted from from behind, and um, that they can both be inserted from behind, and therefore I, I can supply them with uh, with, with, with plugs. Um, uh, these little switches uh, were quite difficult to fit. Um, I, I had to make a slight milling. And I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I milled a rebate about two millimetres into the body here, and then I had to also. I hope you can fo it'll focus on that. Also, I had to mill into the into the top, uh, and I only did this by one millimetre. But I think because the uh, although their switch leaves are quite long, uh, to have them sticking out that are fairly thick. Um, for front for front panel, it would be better if this were milled. To, to a, a depth of one and a half to two millimeters, and this was, uh, and the body here was milled to a depth of um, one to one and a half. Right, have I missed any other bits out? If I have, I try and cover it in the email where I, which I've already started a drafting that has things in in more detail. Okay, thank you very much.